In an isolated system, meaning no outside forces acting on the objects, momentum is conserved. Doesn't matter what kind of forces are interacting, they could be elect electrical, they could be magnetic, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how many objects are involved, the total momentum before is the total momentum afterwards. You may have two objects that collide and then move off at a different speed. The momentum is conserved. You may have two objects that collide and bounce off of each other. Again, momentum is conserved. You may have objects that collide at an angle. Again, momentum is conserved. You may have a cart moving along and something falls in that cart and then they move off at a different speed. Again, momentum is conserved. A gun firing, once again, momentum is conserved. If there's a bomb, the momentum of that bomb is zero before it goes. When it blows up, the vector sum of every little mv in every direction will add to zero. You may have huge things like planets colliding. Momentum is conserved. You may have small things like particles. Again, momentum is conserved. You may have sports figures colliding. Again, momentum is conserved. A train of mass 15,000 kilograms moves to the right at 15 meters per second. Collides with an identical car at best. They connect together. And the question is, what is their common speed? This is a very typical first kind of conservation of momentum question. The first car is moving. The other is not. It is at rest. The momentum, then, before is equal to the momentum of the first car, which we find is 15,000 times the 15. And the momentum of the second car is 0. We will add those two momentums together because it is a linear uh, collision. And the overall momentum is to the right. And we can calculate it and find 225,000 kilogram meters per second. Now we look at the after picture. It is moving to the right. They have joined together. And the total momentum then is equal to, um, this is after, the mass totally they've joined together. So it's 30,000 times the unknown velocity. And so I have the momentum before and the momentum after. And this is how we do the questions. We set up the momentum before. We set up the momentum afterwards. And the momentum of the system before equals the momentum of the system after the collision. Therefore, this 225,000 kilograms meters per second can be set equal to the 30,000 times Vx. So I set up the equation. I solve the equation, and I find the answer is 7.5 meters per second. In this question, a railway car with a mass of 6,000 kilograms travels at 2 meters per second to the right, collides with one that is moving to the left. They have different masses, different velocities. The momentum of the first one is 6,000 times 2. And the momentum of that second uh, train is 3,000 times, now look very carefully, it's minus 3. It's moving to the left. Pay very close attention to this. It is minus 3. Get that wrong, you get everything wrong. So I have these two cars, and I want to find the total momentum of this system before they collide. It's 12,000 plus minus 9,000. 12,000 minus 9,000, 3,000 kilograms meters per second. And there it is, before the collision. After the collision, I add the masses. It is the total mass times the velocity. Which way does it go, left or right? Well, obviously, if the momentum before goes to the right, the momentum afterwards must also be positive and go to the right. So I have the total momentum after then is 9,000 times the unknown velocity. Once again, it's a matter of setting these two equations equal to each other. The momentum to the left equals the momentum to the right. I solve for Vx, 0.33 meters per second to the right.